cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. Tonight, we have an update in a continuing Better Call Bankin investigation. A Lakeland widow paid national memorials in full for a headstone to honor her late husband, and she got nothing in return. Well, Sheriff Grady Judd saw our report. He immediately jumped on his phone, texted Jen, and said, I want to get involved because it turns out he had a personal connection with the former Lakeland police officer. Hey, on your side, consumer investigator Shannon Bankin joining us now with this update. Sheriff Grady Judd personally called for an investigation into the undelivered headstone and another headstone business has now stepped up to help. I can't stand it. My report about the widow of a retired Lakeland police officer fighting for an undelivered headstone struck Sheriff Grady Judd personally. I do know Neil Kessler. He was a fantastic professional police officer for the city of Lakeland. I worked with him back in the day when I was a young deputy. He backed me up many times when there were no deputies available, so it was special to me when I saw your story. June Kessler paid more than $1,500 to National Memorials in September. At first, delays were blamed on COVID-related material shortages, but for months, silence. I found the business empty, and owner William Minozzi hasn't returned calls. That got the sheriff's attention. And I thought, well, one, we're gonna start a criminal investigation in the morning. And two, if we can't get the money back as a result of the criminal investigation or your work through the courts, then our charity will pay for the stones. While the criminal investigation runs its course, I continued to search for Mr. Minozzi to hear his side of the story. I even tried to pay him a visit at home, but it was a dead end at a gate. I left a message, but nothing. Mr. Minozzi, this is Shannon Bankin at News Channel 8. I've been trying to reach you. Meanwhile, June Kessler is done worrying about national memorials. She's thrilled she has the attention of the sheriff and believes she'll soon have a respectful headstone for her husband. Just wonderful what you have done. It's, I mean, I just can't explain it. As for the sheriff, if he's watching this and he has this stone somewhere, what's your message to him? Well, my message is clear. If you're just doing lazy business or sloppy business, either come up with a stone, give the lady her money back. If it's not criminal, there's not going to be any problems. If you ripped her off, you're going to jail. That's a promise. Davis Monument Company also reached out to this family, and the company offered to donate a headstone to the family as a thank you to Mr. Kessler's service to the community. Well, it sounds like between the sheriff's offer and then this Davis Monument offer, mm -hmm. the headstone's going to be forthcoming. But what about the money that's already been paid? Well, it's a very good question. The hope is that National Memorials will return this money or come up with the stone. If the, and if the money is not returned, well, that is when it could be a criminal matter. So if the owner is watching, he needs to do one of those things, come up with the stone or fork over the cash. Yeah. Well, you got to credit Grady Judd for picking up. I mean, right. yeah, I remember the, the other night he just called, he texted, like, I want to get involved. Yes. and get to the bottom of this. And Jen mm -hmm. said, I'll give you Shannon's number right now. That's so right. glad to see that. If you have a problem that he's solving, you better call Bankin or you can call Jen, who knows. Uh, you can reach Shannon, though, on Facebook at WFLA Shannon or give her a call, the number 1-855-BANKIN.